Movie theater subscription service Movie Pass. Movie Pass is now promising. Movie Pass says that it will on Movie Pass. You might have heard of Movie Pass, the service that is disrupting the theater industry. Created by Mitch Lowe, co-founder of Netflix, Movie Pass offers an astonishing deal: unlimited movies at any theater for just ten dollars a month. Nine ninety-five a month. It's a heck of a deal. Yes, that means that you get more than your money's worth by just watching one movie in an entire month. But that money came from somewhere, and that somewhere is Movie Pass, which is placing its parent company, Helios and Matheson Analytics, in escalating debt as it funds Movie Pass's war with the theater industry. You're absolutely right, and they acknowledge that they're going to be operating at a pretty substantial loss for a little while. But what to raise enough cash, Helios and Matheson is selling millions of shares. But this short-term solution isn't preventing the truth that it only has enough cash to sustain these losses for a few more months. As MoviePass gains subscribers, it is just burning through more and more money. But that raises the question: What is the end goal of all this drama? We have figured out a way to give people a deal they cannot believe we can even afford to give. Yeah, because you lose money. The obvious outcomes of MoviePass's service are beneficial for the consumers, but injurious to the company. But this discounted ticketing strategy has also promoted the movie industry as a whole, as more people are watching movies in theaters. This is especially beneficial for the smaller film studios. Whose movies are receiving much more attention, as the consumers can essentially watch their movies for free with Movie Pass. It also helps theaters such as AMC as they earn more revenue from Movie Pass subscribers. However, this has spurred a conflict between the two, with AMC accusing Movie Pass of allegedly devaluing the movie experience. For example, Movie Pass tried to extort theater chains like AMC. Forcing them to pay up if they wanted revenue that Movie Pass is providing, Movie Pass argued that it is providing theaters with customers, so they're entitled to those customers' concession revenues. But AMC didn't budge, so that led to Movie Pass playing hardball and shutting down its service on select AMC theaters. Like AMC Entertainment has jumped on board the movie subscription train, announcing today it will offer a monthly plan that will allow guests to see up to three movies a week for just under twenty bucks a month. But AMC, instead of giving in, suddenly revealed a new service, AMC Stubbs A List, which was comparable to Movie Pass, but rather allowed you to watch up to three movies per week at a twenty dollar per month cost, double that of Movie Pass. Now you may question AMC's reason behind this, since this service might similarly make the company lose money. But it is important to realize that AMC is a theater. And Movie Pass is a subscription service. In other words, AMC is not paying for the tickets since it is selling them. Instead, they're just paying to rent the film so they can display it on their screens, which could come at a cost of five dollars for each ticket sold at ten dollars. On the other hand, Movie Pass must pay for the full ticket or the full ten dollars. To put it in perspective. If an AMC Stubbs A-list member watches five movies in a month, AMC earns twenty-five dollars. On the other hand, if a Movie Pass member watches five movies in a month, Movie Pass loses forty dollars. As a result, AMC's subscription service has the financial means to survive, while Movie Pass's service is sliding the company closer to bankruptcy. So, if it can't rely on its subscription fee, how will Movie Pass survive? Or will it just die? Recently, Movie Pass introduced surge pricing, allowing it to add a few extra dollars to the tickets for popular movies as a way to cut some losses. However, this revision is not Movie Pass's grand plan for generating revenue. Rather, it intends to use the data obtained from your Movie Pass app and sell it to potential buyers. The data will reportedly be informative. Of the general days and times you watch movies and genres you watched, Movie Pass will plan to sell this data to film studios and other theaters. As more members use the service, the platform will become more effective for advertising. The question that remains is whether they will have enough cash in their reserves 
to continue funding the tickets until they can finally begin advertising for other services. I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm not ready to retire. I got to do this one more time and make the studios really, really angry at me. Uh, they, they charge more than $10 a movie. In New York, it's $15. I figured, okay, I'm going to do it for $9.95, the same price as, as Netflix.